So hi everyone, and let's start with the presentation. I would like to introduce Aditya and his project is like RFID based attendance system using Raspberry Pi. And he did a very good job with the LCD and soldering the RFID. Um, we had this problem with the uh, code and he did, he, he did write his own code and analyzed everything. So now I would like to uh, hand over to Aditya. Thank you, Shifa. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Aditya. I am a rising senior at American High School. Uh, my project is an RFID-based attendance system. So essentially, um, this attendance system works on the Raspberry Pi-based credit card-sized computer, which is a small chip-based computer that you can use to design projects with. And this Raspberry Pi computer, I have connected to an RFID 5QCC model. And this module allows me to scan a small tag and this tag I will scan on the RFID scanner and it will send a message to the Raspberry Pi and that will send a message to the LCD that this user has been recorded. And that will then be sent to a database, a front end database that you can see which users have been logged in for attendance. So now I'll share a small video that will explain the project. I first type in an attendance script over here which is the save user pi. And this Python script will allow me to record a user into our database. So this can be used in the first time that you're setting up your users. I go to the LCD, which is now going to be running the script. It says place card to register. I will then take my tag and place it onto the RFID. It will say enter new name. So I will go back to the terminal, which is running the Raspberry Pi on a VNC viewer. I will type in the name of the user. So let's say we now have John, who is going to be our sample user. User John has been now saved into the database. And we can now move on to actually recording attendance now that we have our users. We will exit out of that script. We will load into our attendance system script, which is the actual attendance system script that will run when you're recording all your users in for actual attendance. That script is now running. Place card to record attendance. And now we can have the tag, John's tag. He will place it onto the reader. Welcome, John. We can do that as many times as we like for John. It will still record it as separate attendance. Welcome, John. And now, that is the basis of how this will work when you are recording your users in. Now on the front end, if you go to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, you will see this uh, website, which will give you all the users and their unique ID in your system. You can also go to view attendance to see all the attendance logs for the month. So this is for the month of July. You can see date one, day two, the eighth of the month, nobody signed in there. But if you go to the 21st and 22nd, you can see that John and Joe have both signed in. And that was just right then where we saw Joe, uh, John signing in. And that is the RFID basis. So some of the things that came up during this uh, project was that the LCD here is actually an I2C serial interface based uh, LCD. And that was different as you now have to connect four wires from the LCD here to the Raspberry Pi rather than these other pins over here. So I had to figure out some different connections for that. I had to research where the SDA ground and VCC pins went. Another thing was that the RFID module itself also had to be soldered in. And I, this was something that I didn't know before. So I had to go to some forums and research that in. Uh, one of the modifications I made was that my LCD is a bit different than the one they're using in the base project. So I had to modify the Python code for that. And that mo a modified Python code allowed me to see how the LCD code worked. So from a Git library, I imported a LCD code. Then I used that imported LCD code within the base code. So I replaced all the LC the old LCD code with the new code. That really allowed me to see how the code would interface and communicate the messages between the three parts. 
I would definitely say I like this project because it allowed me to see different parts of engineering, such as coding, but also hardware and some real hands-on activities such as soldering, which uh, I haven't done in a long time with the pandemic. So it really allowed me to get back into the handle of that. Another thing is that allowed me to see how a Python can be used on different um, pieces of hardware. I put with Python on my computer, but now I had to work with an IDE on the Raspberry Pi, and that was also much different than what I had done before. But in the end, I think the project was pretty successful. The SQL database is up and running, and I can open it up anytime on my computer just by typing in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, and that will allow me to record users anytime. So I say that this project was a success, and thank you for listening. That was awesome. Yeah. So do you have any questions, Gauri, or any of the students? They have questions for Aditya? Any questions? I I mean, I have a question. Um, So yeah, like, how did you build like the front end stuff and like the SQL database? How does that work? With with the SQL database, so first the, um, the base project had some instructions regarding the SQL database. So for that, you have to uh, set up MariaDB on your Raspberry Pi, install that, you have to set up a table so that there would be two tables that would record attendance at specific times. You would have to assign specific values, such as in the first table, you would have user ID, which would directly link the tag with the user, but then there will also be the RFID, which is the tag itself. So the two tables connect the RFID to the user ID. So that way the, uh, the scanner knows that this tag belongs to this user. And each user had a unique ID along with the RFID. So that will keep them separate, but you can also overwrite um, users. So if you wanna give your tag to someone else, someone new is joining your team and someone else is leaving, you can just overwrite that and it will automatically change the database for you, which is pretty intuitive. And in terms of the website itself, um, it, it runs on Eng- an Nginx with PHP. So that's pretty intuitive. It's not uh, super front heavy. It, it won't be able to handle serious traffic at a bigger company, but it definitely works for a small team. By the way, like that is so cool. I also like how you got to learn a little bit about like relational databases. Cause like mm-hmm. in, the, in, the, in the real world, like it's one of the most important things to like know about and be able to work with. So. That's really awesome. So great work. This is so cool. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Aditya. Great job. Yeah. Uh, do others, do the students have any questions for your classmate? No questions? Okay. Thank I you, Aditya. You phenomenal job, Aditya. Yeah. Also, your project <laughs> came out, like your presentation was awesome. Yeah. And your final project came out really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Like you had so much going on there. You had the hardware and the software. <laughs> insane stuff. Insane stuff. So really, really amazing job. Um, Thank you. Yeah. All right. Good job, everyone. I'm actually going to hop into this.